Hello, Namaste. Welcome or welcome back to Great Arrow. So, how are you? I hope you're doing good. I hope it's an amazing day for you. So, if you're new here, if you like my content, please support my channel. If you have already supported me, thank you so very much. So, in the description box, I have my DAX information. If you need any information, check the description box. So, the topic for today is your answered prayer. This is your answered prayer. This reading is your answered prayer, and you found the feather for a reason. So, uh, for group number one, it's the peacock feather. For group number two, magpie. For group number three, it's blue jay feather. For group number four, it's crow feather. For group number five, it's cardinal feather. And group number six is swan feather. If you have recently gotten any uh, any feathers, you know, through uh, any other sources, for some of you, this is the way this video is the way you're finding this feather for other people maybe you have already found this feather so choose that feather as well okay that feather might have a message for you so the timestamps will be in the description box remember these are general readings so take what resonates and leave the rest i will see you in your i found this peacock feather for a reason let's talk about your answered prayer so maybe you have been finding uh, peacock feathers lately or maybe through this video you have found this peacock feather so let's see uh, what prayers are going to be answered for you guys from your angels from your spirit team from the universe okay so some sort of resources some sort of resources will be given to you guys so here for some of you this is a gift that you will be uh, understanding that you have so something there is inside of you that you haven't accessed yet this is a gift this is a talent of yours that you will be accessing very soon okay that is one thing i'm getting here the other thing is like you have the capability in order to face any situation and i feel like that power you have sometimes we don't recognize we have i feel like you will be recognizing that you are stronger than you realize and if any resources that you need any resources that you need will be provided for you guys. So if you feel like there is this lack of resources, nothing like that. You will be given all the resources that is needed for your development at the correct time. And with the starfish, I feel like that's one thing. You're, you're, as you heal, you're understanding your own capabilities, your own power, how strong you are. Yeah. Uh, for some of you, some sort of healing is also happening. Something that has been difficult, you're healing, you're getting out of this thing. So a chapter of your life is ending and a new chapter is beginning where you are letting go of something that has taken over you. And as you let go of that and move forward, you realize your own power and you're understanding how much you have within you. Like the cactus grows in the desert, right? It grows in the harsh climate and you are also like that. You can achieve anything even though the circumstances are not right. You will. You have that in you. Okay. So let's see. <clears throat> peacock feather group. I feel like you guys might even have a peacock feather in your book or, you know, or, or in your cupboards. Maybe you recently found a peacock feather. So this is the time to connect with the nurturing forces, okay? This is the time to connect with your own heart, nourish yourself, love yourself deeply, be more compassionate to yourself. So as you are being more compassionate, that's when you will understand your own strength. So one of the affirmations I'm getting for you guys is treating myself like a precious object will make me strong. Treating myself like a precious object will make me strong. So this is the time to get rid of that belief system that when we are more harsh on ourselves, that is when we become strong. No, that's a complete uh, utter bullshit. I feel like that the more we are soft on ourselves the more we are caring we become more strong yeah I, I feel like we have always been thought that the more we are hard on ourselves we excel no that's when we get depression that's when we get this uh, self-doubt <laughs> interestingly I feel like that it, it pulls us down in a way but when when we are loving ourselves when we have that good uh, good thoughts when we are thinking positively when we are talking to ourselves positively in a soft way we excel so this is I feel like you're getting over that and understanding that the more you are soft the more you're nurturing your Yourself, the more you thrive so one of the advice is that the more you nurture yourself the more you will understand how strong you are how capable you are 
this is about your gifts you recognizing your gifts who you are what you can do you are also someone who can make a name in the society you can you also have a place your uniqueness it's about embracing your uniqueness so as you cut cords with the past thinking that i have to be hard on myself in order to achieve that no change it and as you nurture yourself you align with your own heart and understanding more about yourself here so let's see for my peacock feather was the message your answered prayer this is your answered prayer this message is your answered prayer okay so okay we have the number 17 and number 17 uh, is the star card yes understanding you that understanding yourself that you are a gift to the world that you don't have to be so hard on yourself you can be soft and you can be you and that's how you can make a name for you be by being yourself uh, we have this blue eyes as well right and this bird's wings look it's look, it looks so different here right embracing your uniqueness the more you embrace your uniqueness the more you love yourself the more you nurture yourself the more you align with your inner self with your higher self and the more you recognize your own potential here look again the third eye like this. you know it's like in circle right so once you start accepting yourself once you start loving yourself the world around you also will change it will also accept you right so again it's time to accept your authenticity your own uh, yeah it feels like you you are here to make uh, a name for yourself and you will but by like the more you are hard on yourself the more difficult it will get but the more you're soft on yourself you will become more strong yeah more more strong you will become more strong and um, and you will be able to make things happen for you for you one of the most thing is a thing i'm feeling that is coming in between is a little bit of procrastination as well laziness is a, laziness or procrastination or you feel like you're not good enough so you even if you try nothing will work out so maybe you kind of step back don't don't step back anymore okay that's what I felt from this card intuitively, but I will read the message for you guys from this book. Maybe there is some sort of extra information. Yeah, okay, we have divine timing is always revelant, revelant, re revelant, sorry. And sometimes it is the greatest contributing factor in the manifestation of our life purpose. The workings of divine timing are particularly significant for you now. There is a stirring in the cosmic energies around you and a divine dispensation is destined to occur. Trust that you will sense when to move with those currents and give yourself permission to rally and rise. Dancing with the direction of your life path. Seek the treasure most precious to your heart. No matter how impossible it may seem to obtain, persevere. Be motivated by divine beauty. You may not see the signs yet, but you are making excellent progress. Interestingly, I was talking about your own uniqueness, your own calling, right? Making a name for yourself. And that's what it is. Divine timing is at play. So go slow. Trust your heart. Move slow. Don't, don't rush because everyone is rushing. You know, sometimes we rush because everyone is getting that success. So we feel like that we need that, right? And that put a lot of pressure on us. Like I'm not doing enough. I'm not good enough. And we start comparing. Avoid all that. Go at your own pace. Listen to your own heart. Avoid procrastination. If you feel like you need to do something, go ahead and do it. And yes, I feel like there are more details about your gifts, about yourself that is going to come at the correct time and you will know exactly what you need to do. At that time, take that step. Don't procrastinate here. Okay, so that's what I'm getting here. So let's see. <clears throat> Maybe for some of you, this is you knowing what your gifts are, what is your divine calling is, who you are. It's all about you, you understanding and realizing it feels like everyone in this in this world have a footprint right everyone's footprint is diff different everyone's uh, fingerprint is different so you recognizing who you are what you are what you are here to do who you are to become right i feel like the answers are coming for you guys as you heal as you get rid of that feeling that you're not good enough as you're becoming more compassionate as you are you know becoming one with yourself as you are 
aligning with this, this nurturing forces you you are uh, uh, yes you are going to understand so much about yourself and you will be seeing the world in a different way so the answers to your life purpose is definitely coming here that's one of the things you understanding more about you your own strength and how you can uh, you know let go of your weakness and make it your strength sometimes the weakness that we have it can you know once we balance it it can become our strength I feel like you will be getting answers for that as you're healing, right? So let's see what the tarot card has to talk for my peacock feather viewers. <clears throat> wow, we have, oh, we have the back of the deck, six of wands energy as well. So something with your win success. Definitely there is success here. We have ace of cups and two of wands. Like again, ace of cups talks about self-love, nurturing yourself, taking care of yourself, filling your own cup and being soft to yourself, doing the self-care. You know, what is self-care? Sometimes it's not only buying, shopping, nothing. It's more about, uh, you know, doing something that aligns with our heart. Right. If we feel like I need to learn something, it's about learning that thing because it gives us a lot of good energy. So if you feel called to learn something new, go ahead, plan, prepare, prepare, about, prepare and go for it with this two of wands. If you feel like you need to get deep dive into astrology, if you want to learn about it, if you have this calling, go ahead and do that because something that you, you that you're good at, you will be shown here. So this this group feels like you want to do something you want to make a name in this world you want to be uh, seen for who you really are i feel like that but sometimes you feel lost sometimes you start comparing yourself sometimes you feel like you're not good enough and that's not true that is what you need to release that's what your angels are telling you how you can release that by loving yourself by being gentle uh, uh, to yourself by connecting with your nurturing abilities so the nourishment that you give to other people give that to you as well fill your own cup as well okay uh, so learn something new yeah what you can learn something new today learn that maybe you have a calling to uh, go and learn pottery do that prepare plan you know uh, uh, make a schedule um you know maybe you can take a once once a week class start start don't procrastinate on it and as you plan prepare you will be able to know more about yourself you will be able to know how strong you are how fast you learn things how much you have inside of you and then that's when you will not feel like you need to compare yourself to anyone because you will understand that you are an individual that is different from other people you have your own fingerprint your fingerprint will never match with anyone it's unique it's only your fingerprint so why we compare ourselves to other people the eyes of yours is unique so it's yours right again the twins they might look same but their fingerprint is going to be different their personality is going to be different Everything is different. The way they feel is different. Their emotions are different. So we cannot, right? We, can, we don't have to compare. So maybe for some of you, this is an indication that you need to plan for your trip. Maybe you, you have this feeling that I need to take a solo trip. Go, you can do it. You can make it. You can make anything happen. So you might be praying like what I'm good at. Do I even have any skill? Yes. As you love yourself deeply, as you take care of yourself, you will know how strong you are, how you can accomplish things. So change your can'ts into can. Like I cannot do it. My age is gone. All that change, change that. And instead of just thinking that you can't do, take that one small step. Learn something today new. What you can learn something new. Do that. Hmm? <clears throat> So let's see, what is this? Oh God. If we have three cards. Okay, we have this following increase and grace. <laughs> You know, so I feel like you are a person who is very graceful and you don't see that. You're so graceful. The way you walk, the way you talk, your beauty is awesome. Maybe sometimes we don't see that. You don't see that about yourself. Right? But many, many people see that. 
and many people will actually want to follow you for that maybe yes again if you are someone who is interested in showing like how how to talk gracefully maybe you know just an example and you put on a video people will follow you for that you have that in you so again there is a talent a gift that is waiting for you uh, to acknowledge and as you acknowledge that as you put that gift out people will follow you will see an, uh, like again with this increase you will see people wanting to know more about you more and more people following you here so if you are someone who has an instagram page if you are putting your talents out be graceful in it be authentic show your unique side and be yeah, as you express yourself with elegance as you nurture yourself as you connect with your nature, uh, nurturing abilities and show that gift to other people you will actually see an increase in your following see an increase like people are interested in you they want to talk to you or if you are someone who has a creative ability and you authentic you know be authentic with love do that and show to the world without any fear and as you do it there will be more and more people who will want your attention who will want to buy things from you who will want to have your painting who will want to follow you okay so yes that's what i'm getting here so if you are someone who wants that following that's definitely there for you guys uh, but yeah this is something that you want in your heart you you have maybe you want uh, your following to increase or something like that is there so be authentic you are very graceful show your unique self expression like express yourself in the way that most aligns with your heart and the more you do it the more people will be amazed by your gracefulness okay you will see the progress <clears throat> but one thing is like you got to love yourself more you got to embrace your own uniqueness first so people can see that right you're very strong with this cactus you you are someone who doesn't give up but at the same time sometimes when you need to do something new you really have that procrastination so be uh, open to new things as well yeah if you are literally praying for a following or an increase in your followers or increase in your business that's going to happen okay uh so let's see the final message here again the number 17 star if you want to be known by a lot of people like again the star card if you want that fame right recognition yes that's coming so let's see what the final message is for my peacock feather group oh wow corn abundance yes definitely this is an increase in your abundance interestingly we have the six of wands here so maybe recognition social media presence if you want to following in your social media page that is going to happen if you are praying for that there is an increase maybe for some of you this is passing in a competitive examination or getting a job of you uh, or that you desire so this is you working hard and you are reaping the rewards and again there is progress so this is might be something that you are doing already uh, you want that progress in that particular area of your life so right now what you need to do if you're not seeing the progress right now this progress is definitely coming it's going to be slow but it's coming that's one thing you're going to reap all the rewards but what we need to do is to embrace yourself to embrace your uniqueness to show your authentic self to bring love into the situation and show yourself and one more thing to nurture yourself to love yourself to be more soft with yourself so again the affirmation that i'm giving you please uh, please keep this uh, affirmation on your table uh, yeah it will be very helpful for you guys or maybe write it down and uh, you know you can um, paste it on your wall wherever you can see treating myself like a precious object will make me strong so this is your affirmation and this is what i'm going to end in the reading with so please take that affirmation i really feel like the abundance that you want is coming the increase that you want it's coming the recognition that you want is coming but before that happens you got to love yourself you got to embrace yourself you got to love your skills you got to love what you do and be authentic about it okay your authenticity will pay off the grace you know the gracefully you are expressing yourself that will pay off so that's all i have for my peacock feather group hope it made sense hope it resonated if it did give me a thumbs up i will see you soon bye bye found the magpie feather for a reason so maybe you have already found a magpie recently or maybe you are finding this feather through this 
video so let's see we, uh, let's talk about your answered prayer okay so i will start with the charms i just heard a delivery will be made if you're waiting for a delivery that's going to come very fast a delivery okay that a delivery that you have been waiting for uh, the, so there, this magpie feather talks about good omens good luck is entering your life so if there is an is it it's a package that you were waiting for and it was taking a lot of time to get delivered i feel like the delivery will be made soon so let's see <clears throat> or maybe a letter that you're waiting for something yeah. oh it can be a message from your guides as well that you have been waiting for a message from your guides will be delivered a specific message that you've been waiting for will be delivered as well very soon so let's see <clears throat> a healing message a healing message will be delivered very very soon for you guys that will change things for you guys uh, yeah if you are someone who has certain injury or maybe you are not able to be active that active right i feel like your health is improving so this is a good omen for good health uh, maybe there is some sort of healing information that you have been waiting for that will come and that will change things for you guys maybe this is a heal uh, this is information regarding a person in your family a good news regarding their health maybe things are improving things are changing and you will be very happy about it so if you have been feeling low in your energy levels things are changing for you guys you will be having high energy you will be feeling very very uh, awesome you will have a lot of passion you will be getting things done as well okay so uh, some sort of healing uh, healing news is coming that will make you very happy for some of you this is your own you know you are getting a, he a healing information that will help you with your health or this is the healing information uh, that is coming uh, yeah that is coming from another person maybe you will be getting an information regarding someone's health and it will make you happy so let's see what uh, why you found this magpie feather your answer prayer so definitely if you have been praying for health i see there is a major improvement and if you've been feeling very low energetic wise that's changing for you guys so in, i love football maybe you want to go out outside have a run jog but you were not able to do it finally things are going to be good and you will be able to exercise you will have all the energy <laughs> And again, for this hour, there is a news. There is a news that is coming that is very specific and you will know it in your gut that is your news from divine. Yes, and it will be, uh, yeah, uh, yes, an information is coming here that will change something, that will make you happy. It will be like a good information, good news. So let's see what the cards have to add. So let's talk about your answer prayer. Prayer, make by fellow group. Yeah, I'm seeing a shell. You're coming out of your shell now. Yes, now you're feeling energetic. It feels like a person who has been sleeping for a long time, getting out of their cocoon. They're like, you know, the hands and all are widening, they're stretching, and now they're like getting up from their bed and they're ready. They're ready to do anything. <laughs> they have all the energy in the world. That's what it feels like. So, yeah. <clears throat> and we have. The dragon fee of the West. Interestingly, the dragon fly, fly definitely talks about changes and you have the butterfly as well. So, uh, it, it's definitely indicating a change in your energetic levels. Uh, more energy, you will be getting the, the things done in lesser time. Maybe, maybe a thing that used to take you four hours to complete you might be completing in two hours because you have all the energy in the world you you might be organizing things in a way uh, that will help you to save time so something like that is there uh, i really feel like that uh, again there is this change in your health you're feeling uh, great about your energetic levels you're not feeling lethargic if you have been feeling lethargic that's that's changing for you guys you're feeling in health or maybe something in someone in your family their health is shifting you're you're very happy about it yeah maybe because of their health uh, you were not able to go outside maybe you walk you walk with your grandmother always like you have a walk but your grandmother was not feeling great now she's feeling great now you're walking again with her and it's bringing a lot of joy uh, so that's what i'm getting maybe you 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 have a spouse who who used to play, play football 
you used to be, play football with but maybe your health was not that great maybe you're not feeling energetic that's changing now you're going to go and play football <laughs> so that's changing here that's what i'm picking intuitively from this card but there is a message here i will read that as well for you guys maybe there will be more information so with 37 sorry yeah 37 right maybe some of your age is 37 here maybe you're entering your birthday is near or maybe you thought that you know you know because of your health you will not be able to uh, celebrate your birthday you will have to have to stay at home no 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 you will be feeling very good by the by that time okay yeah open your mind to the unexpected again there is an unexpected news that is coming your way that you that is a divine message that you're getting something again a delivery that's what i have to say a delivery that you thought will not happen is happening you know sometimes oh this is not going to come the package is not going to arrive because many times it has not not arrived it will not arrive but it's happening this time it's happening it's the unexpected so open your mind to the unexpected this allows for the universe to intervene on your behalf and set the most blessed manifestation in motion for your benefit to surrender attachment does not mean that you stop caring or wanting things to be a certain way it means that you're willing for the universe to show you the superior way to accomplish your mission such surrender will likely elicit a series of unexpected changes and encounters as the as universe nudges you in the right direction. Know that you will be able to manage all twists and turns with skill, believe in the goodness that is guiding you and trust in your abilities. Your soul has been maturing and spiritual harvest is imminent. Soon you will realize that your time has come. Interestingly, what I was talking about, you know, the changes, I was talking about the change, uh, healing change that is happening. So listen to your inner guidance, take action and believe in the unexpected the more you believe in the unexpected the more good things unexpected things will happen this is a good thing that is that you want but believe in it more okay yeah so let's see more information for my magpie feather poop okay oh wow this is about your manifestation yes an unexpected manifestation is ha happening literally you know with this prince, prince of swords something online again it, this is the scenario i'm getting uh, an online package that you were trying to manifest no matter how how much you tried it didn't uh, arrive right this information like this thing maybe letter that you were manifesting maybe this was a package that you were trying hard to get by but it didn't happen but finally as you let go of it as you're not caring about it anymore as you're um, opening your mind for the unexpected things to happen like when you're opening your mind and you were like yes i'm not going to attach myself to this thing rather i'm just going to surrender and as you surrender you see this manifest of yours coming so maybe this is something an information as i meant this is an online information that will really help you in some way maybe this is like through online you were trying to buy some house yeah maybe something like that is there and you're getting it you're getting the unexpected and it's a good thing that you're getting some sort of information you're getting through online that will help you in your health something like that so be open to this and uh, prepare for the unexpected because a manifestation that you really really desire is coming here and that will change your life for the best okay so just trust your intuition uh, trust this guiding system <laughs> and there is progress happening here yeah with this moth and you know uh, there is this major rebirth happening something is ending and a new beginning is happening again the number one right like the snake also uh, the shedding of the skin so balance your energies right now there is more information that that is coming that will help you to change something transform something that will be very beneficial for you guys with the skin of cups this is something like intuitively you will be getting some sort of messages information please take that and be open to that information like trust that information and keep moving forward this will really help you with this manifestation so again i have to say if i have to say like a delivery package that you thought will never come is coming a message <laughs> it can be anything right so let's see more uh, again the direction here we have the north again west Something that you thought will come from the south is coming from the west. Like again, the direction. You're the, the, yeah, you didn't expect that this is the road. This is the route, right? It's a different route that you're taking. So trust your God. So be open to the unexpected here. So the direction is changing. Something is shifting. 
uh, and one step that you will take that will be different will change your change the course of your life again it feels like the butterfly effect today we make a decision it will change your circumstances right like that a decision that you will make a message you will get and make you maybe you will make some changes in your routine in your diet and that will shift to your reality reality right uh, this information will shift your reality something like that maybe you will be taking a new route and you will get a different reality that you always wanted right it feels like shifting timelines uh, uh, yeah again you know the, it feels like the slide the slide takes us to the same destination over and over and again now you're taking a different slide and going to a like a different information is coming so you're taking a different slide and now you are entering a different new reality so be more open guys yes I hope this is making sense so you thought that you have to go to east now <laughs> some information is coming and you're like no maybe not east best and that's where you're getting whatever you wanted right so let's see <clears throat> oh that's a lot here um, again the red color right red color attraction your manifestation skills are very good right now so please uh, uh, as that message said to surrender and let go or don't hold on to it right it doesn't mean that you don't care about it you care but you cannot force it you cannot just think about it the if you have to give space to your manifestation okay so let's see what else for group number two this is the magpie feather group okay so you have yeah stand still Again, it feels like a person who is waiting for a package <laughs> in the winter, not getting it, trying again and again. You don't have to do that. You can just go home, go to your home and sit in the warmth and just get into that silence. And then there is a message that will come and you will know exactly where you need to uh, go and receive the package. It feels like a person who is standing in this weather to receive the package, but the package never comes. Right? Because they are in the different direction. They are in the east when the package is coming from the west, right? And they are thinking like the, it will be in the east because the mind is limited. And this is just a metaphor that I'm saying. So now what happens is like they're taking a step back. They're going to their home and warming up. And then they feel like maybe I should go to the east. And you go there and you get it. <laughs> That's what it is. So a healing information is coming. Be open to it and trust your heart and move forward with it. You will get exactly what you want. That you have been looking for okay so that's the message here for my mix by feather group so let's see the final piece of information final information this is your answer prayer the circle okay we have the circle the arrow giveaway okay Hey, again, the circle, you know, protection is what I'm getting. All the hands, right? Uh, everyone is safe and protected. What you're giving, you're getting it back. So the more you're becoming open to new information and the more you're working, the more abundance will flow into your life, right? So here with this ha handprints, I'm feeling like everyone is safe, everyone is secure, the circle is protected, your community is protected, the people are protected. And whatever you're giving, right? Again, this giveaway, right? You're praying for them. You're praying and you and believe in your own prayers because your prayers are making wonders. Sometimes we feel like uh, uh, maybe uh, my prayers are not working. It's just a waste. No, 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 no. If you're praying for someone in your circle, in your family, yes, keep do you keep doing that. You know, when we pray without any attachment, like it's just we are praying for their health. We are not wanting anything back right there is no intent there is nothing that we are getting rewards we're just praying with full heart for their health and that's coming that's there okay so keep on praying with that kind of um, love because uh, if this is about protection if this is about a uh, healing information that you want that's coming if it's about a family member that has that you're praying for their health yeah if, if that is what it is uh, what you know if you have some sort of understanding like if you get any he healing information for them please give away give away that healing information without any fear because that healing information is right on point it will help this person 
so one thing is like there is a healing information coming i was very strongly feeling it an information it can be for you or it can be for other person in your family or in your circle so if you're getting an healing information give it that without any fear without any if like what will be the outcome don't get attached to the outcome just give the information let them work on it and it will make changes that's what spirit is telling here okay and again if it's about your health you might get get an information go forward with it with this arrow go forward with it just focus on that information work on it just trust your intuition and you will see things changing things shifting you will not be in this standstill you will not be in this uh, frozen weather whether rather you will see yourself in a place where you, there is a lot of warmth okay so there is manifestation coming that you've been praying for so don't get too attached to the manifestation um this manifestation of yours will come in a different way you're looking in the east it will come through the west okay that's what it is that's the thing so be more open it will come in a very different way that's what universe is telling you that was that's what your angels is telling you so don't wait don't get too attached this person is getting too attached that's why they're waiting in the frozen weather right in this climate when they don't have to suffer like that all they have to take a step back sit, there, sit in their home in the warmth and then the information will come so that's what you need to change okay you're a little bit more focused on the outcome rather than enjoying the process so just that's what you need to work on okay so that's all i have for my magpie group hope it made sense hope it resonated if it did give me a thumbs up i'll see you soon bye bye on the blue jay feather for a reason maybe through this video or in any other form you might have found let's see what is your answered prayer from your angels okay i'm seeing an eagle as well maybe you have saw you saw an eagle recently maybe eagle is like uh, the eagle symbolism i feel like uh, rising above the fears rising above the clouds right having a bigger picture um, you know flying uh, like uh, you know your troubles are over the worst is over that's something i'm feeling like your uh, good times are ahead that's what i'm getting lucky lucky days are ahead uh, that's why you found this blue jay feather that's what your uh, um, message is so maybe you have been praying for more luck and again luck is a mindset and i feel like you're cultivating that kind of mindset lucky mindset i'm getting here um, I'm seeing money as well, so maybe there is luck with money. Yes, again, because your mindset is shifting, you're, pick, you're, you're having this lucky mindset, so you will be seeing more inflow of money as well. And again, one more thing is your psychic ability. If you have been working on developing your psychic ability, you will be seeing an upgrade in your psychic ability. Uh, your crown chakra is going to be very, very open and uh, you will be getting a lot of information from divine. Uh, yeah. And if you're traveling or maybe there is a travel information coming, maybe you'll be traveling very soon. And if you're traveling, if you have planned for a travel, that trip is going to be very awesome. There is something that you will be learning through that trip. OK, yeah, that will be uh, that will that will be some sort of game changer for you guys. Some some sort of information you will be learning uh, when you will travel. So the past is over. The past is over. The X. You're putting X on the past. You're not focusing on the past. Rather, you're focusing on the present to create a future that you want. Okay. So let's see. Yeah. Look again. We have this. Uh, I'm getting the energy of the death, the transformation. The the past is over. You're done with the past. You're not focusing on the past. I even feel like that. Uh, some sort of belief systems that was deep hidden in your subconscious. You are actually releasing all that. Whatever work you're doing, you know, maybe through your prayers, um, as you are focusing on uh, working with your psychic energy, like you've been working to improve your psychic, yeah, psychic, uh, spiritual gifts, something like that. If you're doing it, I see that these all things are actually helping you to release uh, the belief systems that has been hidden in your subconscious mind. So you're releasing your past. You're really, you're really, you're release, you're healing your inner child as well. Uh, Blue J group, I feel like that. And that's the reason the past has no more effect on your uh, present or future. So now you're present, you're cultivating a very good mindset, lucky mindset. So your future is going to be very, very fruitful. You're again with this dragonfly and this um, tree you know the ancestral things the karma has been balanced the past is not going to affect you you have balanced the karma so now you it's your time again you have balanced the karma and so now this is the time for change with this flamingo like you're balanced and this this tree right the ancestral karma the karma from the past you have balanced it 
now your life is going to be entirely different from your past yes so that's the huge transformation here this is a huge transformation and i feel like you are cultivating a lucky mindset here a blue jay group and as you cultivate that lucky mindset you will be seeing lucky scenarios you will be finding yourself uh, <laughs> at the um yes you will be finding yourself at the right time at the right place if there is an upcoming travel in the travel something amazing is going to happen that will uh, make you uh, understand something that you haven't been understanding it's going to be specific for someone so if particularly if you're traveling in the near future or in two months time there is a there is an understanding that's coming but like but here the past is over done you're done with the past nothing from the past is going to come and uh, make you disturbed nothing your psychic your, your psychic abilities are upgrading uh, that is all something I'm getting here so your life is completely changing and you will be you the future that you are uh, going in your present self will be so happy to have that kind of future that's what I'm getting here your future looks abundant so let's see what is for my blue jay feather group maybe you have been seeing butterflies recently Maybe seeing a butterfly can, you know, this is the talking about the transformation that your past is going to be so different from your future. And one more thing I feel like with this dragonfly and the butterfly, the transformation is, is happening, right? The past has no power over you anymore. And again, the subconscious beliefs, you're, you're getting rid of the old beliefs and you're learning new ones that is good for you, right? Good for your future. Uh, it aligns with the life you want. <clears throat> This is the card. Ajayu. Oh, we have the owl again. Psychic energy, right? Psychic. You're, you are very psychic. I have to say that. Your intuition is very strong. It's on point. And when you will be traveling, I feel like it will be very, very high. High. Your crown chakra is opened. With this owl, you can see what, not, what others cannot see. So you can protect yourself. And you can also protect your loved ones. Because you can see what the other people cannot see here. So trust your trust your uh, intuition so for some of you i really feel like you have the gift of clairvoyance and it was going to be very very clear um maybe in your dreams also you will be getting certain information uh, please uh, take a note of your dreams because um because in your dreams there is information there is downloads that you're getting and it will help you in your waking life as well it will help you to uh, manifest the desires that you have for your future okay so yes clairvoyance look up look she's looking up and it feels like if you look she's looking up interestingly she's looking up like the clouds and she's getting her message because she can see what others cannot see. She can see through the facade. She can th see through the clouds and get the <laughs> messages from the heavens, right? Again, maybe uh, for some of you, there is a past on loved one that is helping you on this journey. Yeah. Um, and we have the number five. Yes, things are changing. Transformation. Things are not going to be the same for you guys. The way you are working right now, I feel like there is a lot of... Uh, Faith right now you are uh, having in your life and that faith is going to be a game changer for you guys and you are going to manifest a life that you desire right now so keep trusting your own instincts keep trusting your own divine nudges because divine gives you a lot of information trust that use your um, imagination skills to manifest whatever you want to manifest okay so yes so trust your gut, trust your visions. Your yeah, again, your psychic abilities are improving. It's it's going to be high level. That's what I'm getting here. So now that's what I picked intuitively from this card. Now I'll just read the message for, for you guys. Inheritant inheritant in the gift of your precious human life is the opportunity to experience and express an authentic soul journey. As a human, you will muddle along, mess up, and again. And gain insight as to what an authentic life path is for you. This is how you grow into the fullness of your spiritually mature humanity. If you, had made, if you have made mistakes or wish that you could have handled something differently, allow regret to inspire a different way rather than lead to self-criticism and ridicule. You are an innate... In, in, Oh, sorry <laughs> you are an innately pure spiritual being you always have been and always will be 
you are here to learn and grow there never was any requirement for perfection you can take responsibility for the inevitable messes of learning and growing and still celebrate the mysterious magic of your life okay so this is from the book so let's move on to the cards for blue jay feather group your answer prayer ah again the subconscious uh, yeah you're healing that's what i'm getting here you're healing your past you know the past subconscious belief system that's what you're healing here the past is not going to uh not going to come and uh you have healed that you have you have you have healed it completely now you are into this next chapter of your life that is going to be in harmony yeah so again the past mistakes everything you have learned grow from it and you know what you need to take and you know what what you need to let go of and that's exactly what you're doing and you're healing so this is about healing healing the past relationships that you had with other people and you're understanding why certain things happened to you guys why you made certain mistakes why those those people were in your life yes they were they were there for you guys to and make you understand regarding your own potential you are now this person because of those people because if they were not in your life you might not have have experienced these experiences and it it might not have made you the person you are today so every time certain people come in our life for a specific reason and i really feel like that you're understanding as you're healing that journey maybe you're understanding about your pa past or your about your childhood why certain things happen you're getting the clarity and now that's why there is no regret there is no guilt no shame you're releasing all that and you are uh, uh yeah it feels like you're releasing all that and you're understanding why certain things happen at certain time of your life and now you're seeing the world in a different view and that's the reason as i mentioned your past is going to be so different from your future so you're healing certain belief systems subconscious belief system and the past is over and done with and now you're moving to a new future that looks vibrant joyous and you will be celebrating life <laughs> that's what i feel for blue jay feather group yeah grace you're moving gracefully with lot of grace um you're going to move we have adornment bring bring out beauty bring out beauty elegance uh the outer as a reflection of the inner vanity charisma charisma and self expression right so yes and that's the feeling for some of you the past relationship this can be a specific relationship that you uh, that might have been heavy and you were not able to move um subconsciously there was some sort of patterns that was coming because of this relationship that's healed now you're moving life gracefully you're embracing yourself you're being authentic right you're not wearing a mask anymore you're releasing that mask and you are showing the real you and as you show the real you as you see yeah as you show the real you 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 are moving life uh uh through such grace and uh, you're getting whatever you want that's what i'm getting here okay i'll take one more and the number 22 your angels are near protecting you again the angels you know three bears it feels like your loved ones everyone is there around you protecting you yes yeah again we have the rousing yes this hard part of the situation is over that's what i feel like you have learned so much from these relationships the past is not going to repeat now you're gracefully going to move uh, ahead in your journey and create a fantastic future for you guys here so again if there has been a relationship that was heavy you're finally releasing it this relationship or this kind of situation past is not going to affect you in the future here yes so let's see the final message sure again this can be a subconscious belief system that you are healing from that has been a uh, issue that has been a pattern in your life you're healing that and now that's so maybe uh, one thing i uh, strongly feel as you heal this thing the area of your life where you were not getting the success because of a uh, programming or because of this belief system as you're healing it in that particular area of your life you are moving ahead <clears throat> let's see the final message for blue jay feather again this is like for some of you i didn't i mention the lucky mindset right you never thought that you were lucky 
that was your belief system when you were a kid maybe you were you were been told that you're unlucky or something like that and you carried that and you saw unlucky circumstances happening in your life now you're shifting that you're shifting that unlucky mindset to lucky mindset and now as you move forward as i told that's the difference between your past and your future where you thought that you were always unlucky and you were unlucky circumstances now you're changing that you're reprogramming yourself to this lucky mindset this is a new program that you're writing with this luck and now your future will be lucky right that's what the message is so let's see the final message the rainmaker and luminous warrior okay it feels like you're understanding your own strength your own magic who you really are uh, and again you know sometimes we see ourselves as a person who has done a lot of mistakes who is embarrassing who is not lucky and you are shifting all that right and taking the value from that lessons and releasing yourself from the past and that's why you are a warrior yeah you're changing your mindset that's that's what it is this is this is a belief system that you carried from your past and you thought that you are you can have that only like again this again that would that would, that the lucky mindset is coming you know the unlucky mindset you were like yeah wherever i go there is i'm not going to get that gift i'm never going to have that everyone is winning prizes i will never because i'm not lucky you know you're changing that and now you're understanding that your hands have that power your mind has that power i was giving the power to the wrong things right i thought that i don't have any power that's what i was giving my power away now i'm taking control as a warrior right that's that's why you're a warrior because you're releasing you are stepping up you're like yes this is what happened must past mistakes i made i made a lot of mistakes i'm taking taking i understanding that that is a mistake i made now i have to release that i that was just my mindset i'm i'm releasing it and i'm not going to do that rather i'm learning from it yeah that's what it is and you're seeing things very clearly right that's what it is like re releasing some sort of programming and cutting the cords with the past and because of that that pattern is not going to repeat here so that's the message for my blue jay for the group hope it made sense hope it resonated if it did give me a thumbs up i'll see you soon bye bye i found the crow feather for a reason so let's talk about your answered prayer uh, so the message is from your angels so maybe you have recently found a crow feather or maybe through this video you found the crow feather so i feel like protection is one of the themes i'm getting you're protected you're safe you're secure uh, don't worry if you're worrying regarding something it's going to be all right don't worry your fears are 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 nothing right right now do not worry do not worry that's what i heard so let's see what is the message here your answered prayer crow feather group okay <clears throat> yeah oh my god there is a resolution coming you're worrying for some you're worrying regarding something you don't know you're just focusing on the worries rather than the solution and lord krishna here coming and the uh, fairy god mother coming here telling you those worries uh, those worries are not going to give you any kind of things so let go of the worry once you step back from the worry the resolution the keys the ideas on how to overcome this uh, this thing will come the solution to the problem will come so please stop focusing on the problem rather take a step back release your worries and then the resolution the keys the answers will come here so do not worry here there is a way out so again with this fish i see a lot of overthinking a lot of worries but look again these worries are for nothing you're protected you're safe with this uh, lord krishna and a fairy god mother coming here you are protected so this fears that you have this worries that you have it's for nothing it's just uh, making your present moment uh, bad right yeah again because of this worries you're not enjoying the present right you're just worrying about certain things so first let go of that worry take a step back and once you take a step back from those worries that is when the resolution the keys the solutions will be given to you guys so the solution are coming you're protected okay so that's what i'm getting here <clears throat> so the answers are coming the solution is coming so do not worry so go further group message 
Okay, wow, look at her. Now we have... Oh, look at her, the way she looks, right? Her eyes. It's like her eyes are telling, like she can achieve anything if she set her mind to. She is fearless, right? And I feel like this is the time for you to embrace that quality of fearlessness. Maybe for some of you, you have also seen the blue jay feather group because we have the blue jays as well. So again, once you take a step back, you will understand your own power, that how you can get away from this fear, this worry, this overthinking is... You know, sometimes when we overthink, we don't trust in ourselves. We just focus on the worry. We don't trust in our own capabilities. We trust. We don't trust in our own power. Rather, we give that control uh, to that overthinking, uh, to that stress, to that worry. So once you take a step back and once, that's when you will see your power. That's when you will understand that, yes, I have the strength in me to face these fears. I can make things happen for myself i can yeah yeah that's what when you take a step back that's when you recognize your own power and you will get that answers the solutions right so this is the time to be fearless rather than fearful and the more you're getting into this energy of fearlessness the answers will be coming okay so again it feels like she can face anything this is what your energy should be because you have to have faith in divine. Once you have faith in divine, you can face anything, right? So embrace the energy of fearlessness. And I'll read the card, a message as well. <clears throat> I really feel like whatever this is, this uh, fear-based energy is, whatever this is, it's, it's going to teach you something at the end. It will teach something about you, like how, 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 how you are so much stronger than your fears something about you you will be learning about yourself the power that you hold so anyways i'll read the message for you guys <clears throat> turn within to experience steadiness becoming restful upon a firm inner spiritual foundation from your soul's vantage point the path before you now and how to best nav navigate it is clear your soul knows how to receive and act faithfully upon the guidance of spirit even throughout the moments when your conscious mind doesn't understand what is happening or why when change upheaval or confusion is upon you yes that's what it is when change upheaval or confusion is upon you know that this is the chaos that precedes creation return to your spiritual roots to ground yourself anchoring your mind to your heart Allow your life to unfold according to a generous universal wisdom that is aware of your potential and what is necessary to actualize it and is actively supporting your divine fulfillment. Interesting what I said. Just take a step back firm, ground yourself and the idea, the yeah, that's what is going to come. So this is the time to embrace the fearlessness. Yes, that's what it is. That's what your um, message is. So something that has been troubling you, that is making you fearful, overthinking, right? And here, I read the message out. That's the, that's the thing. And that's what I said here. So let's see what the tarot has to add for crow feather viewers. It feels like right now you're praying, but you're not believing in your own power, your own self. So that's why you need to take a step back and ground your energy so you can receive the answers. And once you receive the answers, when you're grounded, that's only when you will be able to trust and take action, right? Otherwise, you will be stuck in your own fears. So let's see. Uh, look. Look again, the five of swords and the temperance, two different energies, right? So different. One is minor arcana, one is major arcana. And again, the angelic, angel presence. We have Lord Krishna here. Uh, we have uh, Mother God Fairy. We have Archangel Michael as well. Look at the presence you have. This is the group that has most angelic presence. Right now, maybe you need it. And they are making you realize about your own power. So maybe there had, be, had been a situation where you were really hurt by another person. You know, what is Five of Swords energy? Two people having argument and one say something that hurts the another one another person but no one is winning that right no one everyone is hurt so maybe this is this is 
like you were hurt this person said something that was so cruel it pulled you down right and now you are worrying a lot of things you are in this worry based energy you don't know what to do with this relationship or you don't know do what to do uh, if it's a boss you don't know you are just worried you you don't know you don't have any solutions you're not say, seeing a way out of it right you're hurt and that's that's what this overthinking because of this hurt you know i feel like five of swords energy is such a bad feeling energy it can be like it's like again if you look at it, it's really bad the heart has been uh, pierced with like four swords it's painful and that's the reason you're worrying uh, you and that's I, i really feel like that's the reason you're not able to understand your own power and you're giving that power to this this thing right this thing that is taking all over you because it's so hurtful but you are not alone in this that's one thing uh, all the you know archangel michael lord krishna mother god fairy is oh, they are all with you helping you in this uh, situation to bring that balance back here so the balance is going to come your answers you will be getting but for that you will have to step down right you have to take a step back ground yourself meditate so you can get that loving wisdom so you can you you will know what you need to do next so balancing your energies is the important thing so prayer um yeah you are praying and i i feel like that you need to have faith in that prayer that's also very important so yeah there has been a huge disappointment something is really worrying you but you will be getting out of that situation you will be getting a way out that's what the message is here things will be balanced but first before that you got to take a step back and you need to come into your own power okay so let's see what else for crow feather group yeah embracing peace that's what it is embracing peace right now it's difficult you know it's difficult at the beginning it's difficult to embrace that peace because you're focusing on the worries but as you have more faith as you as you as you you know embrace the energy of faith as you as you take a step back from this hurt the peace will come once you feel that peace there is a resolution that will come that will bring peace to your external life as well so first internally you have to feel that peace so calm yourself balance yourself right don't take this thing literally right now right this pain literally just balance your energies right now as you bring that peace as you bring that balance and harmony within yourself you will get that outside of you right yes you will see it and we have the modesty card as well moderation humility keep it simple lack of pretension self respect sincerity respectability yes you have to look again you look at this card she is she is she, she can face anything it feels like that she can face anything that's you deep inside that's you your soul is like that it can face it can heal this heartbreak that has you know, make her hurt or him so much you can balance that you you can bring that peace back into your life you are that powerful and that uh, so respecting yourself loving yourself being compassionate to yourself nurturing yourself is what is the key here and once you start doing it once you have faith in your own prayers you will you will have that peace outside of you have that balance outside you of you once you once you have feel it inside that it will come outside as well so let's see the final message show Oh wow. Look the owl. <laughs> Interesting. Um again this feels like uh right now divine is giving you the messages. They're giving you the solutions, but you're not able to listen to it. You might be praying, but you because you're so deep in your hurt, right? You're so in this pain, in this worry, in this overthinking that you're not seeing Uh, the clear picture right you're not seeing what has been shown to you guys the resolution is in front of you right the answers the solutions are in front of you again the eagle 
look, look again, it feels like the resolutions, the everything is in front of you, but you are so fixated on the problem that you're not seeing the solution. So once you take a step back, once you free yourself from this uh, from this problem and move above, above and beyond, right? Like the eagle moves um, above the clouds. So that's how he surpasses the troubles. And once you start doing it, you will see the things very clearly. You will see the solution very clearly. Right now, this pain is too much. So it's it's what you're focusing entirely on. So that's why there is an energy. You know, that's the reason. That's the thing you're not seeing the solution. The solution is in front of you, but you're not seeing it right now. So for that, you will have to come back into your power. You have to take back your power. You have to take back your control and take a step back, balance yourself. And the answers will be there and you will have you will know exactly what you need to do and that will bring a lot of peace in your life. So this thing, uh, the solution is at hand. That's what the message is from your angels, okay? Uh, for Crow Feather Group, hope it made sense, hope it resonated. If it did, give me a thumbs up. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. You have found the cardinal feather for a reason. Maybe you have found it through this video or through any other sources. So let's see what is the message, your answered prayer. So what angels wants you to know about your answered prayer. So I feel like you are someone who, who perseveres even in tough situations. And now it's your time to get the success. You have faced uh, courageously those obstacles. You haven't given up when there were obstacles. You went out, you know, courageously you fought and you went with that right you with yeah it feels like there was there were many times you thought that you have to uh, take that backward like you have to go backward you cannot do it you cannot move further but you or oh, you you had that strength you had that courage in you and you you didn't give up and finally the sweet results the success is is, is coming and that's what the message is here so let's see what is the message um or your answered prayer so yeah, oh, we ha oh look again, you know, if you look at this uh, lizard, they cut their tails when they have to survive and you're like that, you're like that, you don't give up very easily. And that's why this keys, this hard work that you have done, it's paying off. That's why, that's what the message is. So maybe you have been praying for your success, for your victory, maybe for your own growth, your expansion. That's exactly is happening. For some of you, uh, if you have been praying for a home uh, for yourself or maybe a place for yourself, a car, if any of those things, that's what I'm getting. For some of you, you're healing your trauma. Uh, it, it feels like you're reinventing yourself in a way. Uh, you're, uh, yeah, you're not afraid anymore. Uh, yeah, it feels like you have faced a lot of a lot of obstacles. Finally, now the obstacles are gone. Now you can show the real you to the world in a way. No more obstacles with it. Uh, so yeah, let's see. So what else is for my cardinal feather group? All about your answered prayer. <clears throat> we have Lou. Oh, yes. In the hard times also, you have been compassionate to yourself. You have grounded yourself. Uh, you have not given up, guys. I really feel like that. You have carried a lot of load. Like again, it feels like our head is so heavy with all the animals and the birds, isn't it? It feels so heavy. You have carried it that heaviness within you, but it it hasn't stopped you because you were nurturing yourself, you were taking care of yourself. Even at the tough times, you were embracing joy, you were having fun. You didn't let that uh, sadness take you. Rather you, yeah, it feels like you nurtured yourself and you took care of yourself, you didn't give up. You nurtured yourself, you were compassionate to yourself even, even during the tough times. Even though it was painful, you didn't uh, allow that pain to consume you. You worked hard on yourself, right? Again, like the lizard, whenever there is a situation, they cut the tail to survive and then it grows back, right? Like that. You are also like that kind of person. You didn't allow that depression or anything like to consume you. You tried your best to get out of it, right? Even though it was so hard, you persevered. 
and finally you are seeing the results that you want to see again the number 19 talks about the sun card right the happiness that you want the vitality that you want to see the growth that you want to see you have been waiting for it you have been working hard towards it finally the results are coming um yeah we have the blue jay as well maybe you saw that um as well so let's see um we have the number 19 here i'll just read that message here the soul journey is a spiritual long game yeah it's a long game it has been a long journey isn't it persevering understanding about yourself releasing what is not uh, good right then learning something new then doing it all over again isn't it it's, it's a tough journey but but you didn't give up yeah yeah and that's so awesome uh, though there will be spontaneous prods of swift, swift progress and rapid healing, recovering and rising through any difficulties, you are also building a long-lasting legacy of sacred beauty. You are soul-making. Value the process and value yourself enough to set boundaries with yourself and others. Such a precious undertaking requires patience for the process, standing in time. Contentment in the quality of the journey helps sustain and inspire you for the considerable task of generating your most legacy most sacred legacy interesting that's what i was talking about right you have been persevering you have not been giving up and now you're reinventing yourself you're seeing the results here i really feel like that it has been a big big long journey you know doing the process all over again sometimes healing again 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 right again and again and doing things but finally i feel like now things are going to progress very fast for you guys because you have given that time attention to all the things that needs he needed healing now again it feels like you're not only getting the success for yourself you're in turn creating a legacy here yeah so i feel like this group have learned so much so much about yourself your soul and those experiences that you have gone through will help other people maybe you are going to be the first millionaire in your family you might be the first a doctor in your family i don't know you might be the first leader yeah you might be the first um, healer i don't know but somehow somewhere you are going to create a legacy you're the one who is going to break the chain but it took a lot of lot of energy from you you did so much of unlearning you learn new things right you persevere you didn't give up you grounded you be you were being compassionate when others were not compassionate to yourself you were compassionate you have done the work and finally the results progress the success it's coming right so let's see <clears throat> Again, money-wise as well, I feel like you might have broken that pattern that your ancestors carried, that your family carried. You might be someone who will be having a very good lifestyle, luxurious lifestyles. Yes, that's how, yeah, again, look. That's what it is. Look, we have the Ace of Pentacles, we have the Eight of Cups and the Nine of Swords. This, this is what you're... Uh, moving away from the fear of not making enough the you know sometimes uh, maybe you were in a family where always the money was an issue right always the money was an issue finding new opportunities to make money was a hard thing right every time there was struggle with money you were raised in that scenario and that's exactly you are healing from that stress of not getting enough money to provide for your children or for your family it's, it's really uh yeah it's it's too much of a trauma and what happens is uh generation by generation it might be carried through the patterns because the mindset is the same right so somehow somewhere we struggle with money even though we have enough we get worried about the money because that sometimes it's because of the limited beliefs and here you have you have gone through that and you have understood how this mindset can um cause uh lack right because we are in this lack mindset and sometimes this lack mindset will give us lack only when we are in the scarcity mindset the scarcity is only going to happen when we are in this worry the worry will come if you are worrying about money we will have more to worry about money you have understood it right you you are the one who is breaking free from it you're moving away from that and that's why you're getting more and more opportunities to make money in different way and that's what i was saying here you are the one who is going to plant a seed that no one in your family planted you are the first person who will be rich who will have a different kind of lifestyle you will be the one who is going to break the chain 
you will be the one who will show that the, through this also we can make money it's about mindset we can be successful you are the one who is creating this legacy for the coming generation as well so yes this is what i'm getting here again uh, it 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 feels like your ancestors your family all have have gone through that kind of trauma and it was like one like everyone was carrying that within them you are the one who is who is like standing in front of it and you're like no i don't want to carry that i want to live a different life i don't want to continue this and you are breaking the chain from it yes wow that's beautiful so let's see <clears throat> it feels like something that has been there for so long you're the one healing it and you are unlocking something new new opportunities right so i really feel like money wise if if money was the issue it will not be an issue anymore <laughs> yeah yeah the attraction of opposites again in the attraction of opposites this feels oh, look we have the prosperity as the back of the deck energy as well so i have to take that as well because it's most about that right again your family viewed like we are always going to have that kind of scarcity we will never be successful or you know again it feels like the patterns you know it's sometimes it's <laughs> it's really there may you know if you look at the family lineage you might have seen that like many people have those issues in your family right again they they think that they cannot have it they cannot attract that it feels like that they cannot attract because their mindset is like that because from childhood they have been taught that like we have to limit things we have to think think in a limited way we have to get very creative with our budget because we can have only this much money you know it's been taught it's been engraved um in your subconscious like that and uh, sometimes it's like you you have seen your mother worrying about money the way your mother spoke about money it can be about a relationship as well right maybe in your family you might have seen struggles in relationship where uh, the gender was taken literally every, oh, each each gender had each each work they can only do this kind of specific work and you might be the one who is changing that right yeah so a lot of like a lot of ancestral patterns you are cutting that and where they there you thought where these people thought there will be no prosperity you are bringing that prosperity <laughs> again it has been a tough journey of course it has again the head is so so much is there on the head you are carrying so much of weight on your head and the reason is because you are carrying so much yeah it it's like you are letting go yeah, you are the one who is breaking the chain so it's such a huge work that you are doing <laughs> right you are creating a legacy that's who you are so from scarcity to prosperity you are the one who's who's uh, uh, you know breaking the chain finally so that's why i was telling that like you might be the first millionaire or the rich person and through you many people will learn like yeah this is what is stopping us from achieving that oh, if she can do it i can also do it and that will transform the people coming generation right yeah so let's see the final message here but it's like yeah i have seen that you have struggled a lot though right it's not easy so it's a huge work it has been a long journey but finally you're getting there you're reaching there okay you might be seeing a lot of 222s as well so let's see what is the final message here and we have the number 44 as well the stable life right again the spiral you're breaking free from the spiral yes it's like spiral it's the round and round and round and round you're breaking free from that you know again if our mindset is not changing the pattern will come again and again and again again if it's a ancestral pattern it is going to repeat and repeat and repeat everyone is taking i have seen many families having a uh, relationship dysfunctional relationships i've seen that i i have seen now if i notice it is because of their pattern how they were they were bought like the bringing really really affects us and once we are not awakened to it once we don't understand like it's our mindset that is that we are passing out on to our children it is going to continue and you are the one who is like looking at it yes this is not what i want yes i need to free myself from that and you are freeing yourself from the spiral you are not engaging you are like no 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 i don't want this pattern i'm cutting cords with that and i'm going to have a different life and through you so many people you know the coming generation right in, in your family line they were, their life also is going to change so yeah that's what it is uh, so that's the message i have gotten for you guys 
hope it made sense hope it resonated if it did give me a thumbs up i'll see you soon bye bye take care found this one feather for a reason so let's talk about your answered prayer maybe you have found the feather through this video or through any of the other sources let's see what is your answered prayer from your angels here you are a healer i felt you are an empath light worker this is my spiritual group i feel like that and here one thing your angels are telling you that don't worry too much slow down whatever you want you can accomplish if you desire something you don't have to rush you just slow down be in your energy that's all is enough and you will get whatever you want so slow down okay live your life joyfully and yes you are a healer you are an empath so sometimes it's very easy for you to take other people's energy so there is a boundary that you have to draw so you don't take other people's energy because i feel like energy vampires might love your energy they might suck your energy so please have that emotional boundary even if you want physical boundary please have that I really feel like you are a healer. You don't have to do the work. Your energy is healing. You, you being with someone can de-stress them. You, you know, by listening to your voice or your advice, many people de-stress themselves. They get that good vibes from you. So acknowledge yourself. You're doing amazing, guys. I feel like your angels are telling you to appreciate yourself more. Okay. So let's see what else. Hmm. rose and house oh if you're in a relationship i i really feel like for some of you already in a good relationship but there is more good news hap coming uh, through your spouse <laughs> okay maybe your spouse will have some sort of achievement that will make you really really happy uh, for some of you, maybe you will be relocating homes. If you are praying for that, that is also happening. If you want to uh, relocate to a new a new place, a new country, I feel like with this Wheel of Fortune, you are going to get the message very soon. If you don't know where you need to relocate or where you need to go next, uh, the answers are coming here. Slowly but surely, take your time. Again, slow down, guys. Slow down. Nothing to worry about. So if you want to relocate, if you want to change places, anything like that, the answers are coming slowly but surely. At the correct time, it will come. You don't have to do anything right now. Just slow down. Be in your energy. Do the work that you're doing. That's enough. Everything that you need will come. Again, it can be about a travel here. We have the horse or freedom, something like that. Freeing yourself from something uh with this pegasus uh, yes um and we have a key as well so yes you need to uh, you want to unlock a new door you want to move somewhere new or you may to you want to relocate somewhere maybe you want a new job or maybe your spouse you're waiting yeah maybe for some some of you are praying for your spouse um to have a new job maybe you you're praying for your spouse freedom maybe they are in a job that is not that great maybe they don't feel that free in that job maybe you're praying for that and that's happening maybe your uh, your spouse will come up with a, with an idea that will take you to a place that is unknown but it will it will bring a lot of miracles and a lot of happiness for other people it can be you as well but with this rose in the house i really feel like it it, it is like maybe maybe your spouse is uh, is not feeling that free in their job or or uh, yeah, again, uh, maybe they want to move somewhere. Maybe they want to do something in a way that aligns with their heart. And that's going to happen. Okay. For some of you, this is you who want to do something with your heart. Maybe you're not feeling that great in this job and you will be finding the thing. So right now, just slow down. The more you slow down, the more you will be able to listen to your heart. Again, things, ha things are not going to happen very fast right now. What you, what you need to do is to slow down, take your time. And as, as you get the guidance, take action, that will lead to movement, okay? So that, that's what I'm getting. There is movement, there is a change that I'm seeing here, moving uh, locations, moving houses. If you're praying for that, that's going to happen. A new door is definitely unlocking. And uh, yes, you be you. You stay in your energy. Your energy is very pure, very high vibe. You can attract anything at this time. So just slow down, okay? I'm hearing tears of joy. Yes, there is new ways opening up for you guys. And when it will open, you will be so happy that tears will come out. That happy. So let's see what else. Four oh, white swan group. Feather. If you want to buy a house, slow down guys. Things are, things are coming. Things are coming into fruition. 
whatever if you want to buy new things new things yes things are lining up for you guys don't worry <clears throat> don't worry so let's see what else you are on the right track going in the right direction okay so amulet of gurukula uh, yes i feel like you're like a teacher to many people maybe you're not seeing that right now uh your 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 teaching abilities is actually helping people you don't have to be literally a teacher right you can uh, guide someone through your experience and it will help them in their own life right you are someone uh, whose whose uh, whose words whose advice protects them levels them up brings a lot of light in them so that's one thing you need to appreciate yourself yeah okay and uh, okay i'm sorry okay so uh, yeah that's what i'm getting here and again look at the white color that is your you chose the white feather as well and we have this white color as well the pure color the pure, you know it's like the color of the purity innocence right i really feel like you're purifying yeah <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, you you purify people's heart somehow. Yes, through your guidance, your wisdom, you give that light to them in their heart and they rise above from their fears. Okay, yeah. Uh, so let's see what is the message here. And again, maybe you're seeing 11-11 a lot. Yes, there is definitely a new beginning, a new way is opening for you guys, a new place is waiting for you guys, new people are waiting for you guys. If you're single, new relationships are entering. And if you're in a job that you don't like, maybe you will be doing a job that is freeing, that uh, connects with your soul. Yeah. And definitely you have teaching abilities, okay? You are a teacher and somehow, somewhere you teach. Yeah, as I felt, you are someone who can feel other people's energy. You are an empath as well. You can feel if someone is feeling bad and through your guidance, through your wisdom, they level up. You, that's one of your powers. So, uh, so sometimes it can be tough when we are empaths. So please draw emotional uh, boundaries. That's very important. Okay, let's see. You are progressing through a spiritual transition. Psychic, emotional and mental fluctuation and instabilities can temporarily occur as part of this process. Maybe a little bit of heaviness you're feeling because uh, the energy right now when I'm posting it's lunar eclipse also. It might have affected you a lot. The energies might be in intense. Maybe you have been feeling very bad. And you, you are also thinking like, why I'm feeling bad when nothing has happened? You know, it's because of the energy is because you are very sensitive. So pray, uh, just do some sort of protection rituals. Okay, it will benefit you. Um, it may require more effort than usual to stabilize and ground yourself. Um, transitions are essential components of spiritual path. They are the necessary crossing points from one way of being into the next evolution. Transitions ultimately promise heroic breakthrough, yet they require particular spiritual care as the soul is more vulnerable to disruption during such times. You can utilize this knowledge to become attentive and generous regarding your spiritual protection practice and in doing so facilitate, facilitate 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 sorry a smooth significant and successful transition in your life a divine guardian is willing to watch over your path and ensure safe passage so yes again moving from one chapter of your life to next chapter so again be be very kind to yourself at this time uh, do the protection rituals and if you want to yeah again didn't i mention slowing down slowing down is very important right now don't speed up if you're feeling a little heavy take that time off tend to your home do the work that you need to do that's it just prioritize certain things that is important do that only okay don't be hard on yourself at this time so yes uh, there is this change that is happening there is this breakthrough energy after this transition things are going to change for some of you movement changing places all is possible here so right now if you are feeling tired if you are feeling heavy, it's just the transition phase. Be kind to yourself. Do that protection ritual. Ground yourself. More meditation is required at this time. Okay. So, yeah. And again, if there are people around you who are like energy vampires, please stay away from them. Today, this time, please stay away from them. So, let's see what else. Wow. Four of Wands. Again, a home. New home. New home is possible, a new relationship is possible. A lot of abundance is coming your way. Stability, security, right? So first you have to feel stable. Right now you're feeling a little bit up and down. So uh, as I told you, you are an empath. You might be very sensitive to energies right now because the energies are a little bit intense right now when I'm filming. Or even though, uh, yeah, if it, even, if, even though if you're watching later, maybe you're feeling like that. 
so ground yourself uh, meditate every day or uh, whenever you feel heavy i would recommend a salt bath or uh, taking a salt bath will be very good for you guys so you can release the energies that is not good if you go out after work please do that ritual where you can just uh, you know whenever you are you set an intention when you're doing that bath that i'm i'm releasing all that negative energies the energies that is not good for me uh, so yes that's very important and again the relationship again we have the house and the roses so uh, for some of you this is movement moving to a new house and there is a lot of happiness coming your way uh, for some of you i really feel like if you're single maybe you will be going through this next phase where you will be meeting your partner if you're praying for a relationship that is happening if you're praying for a new house that is happening if you're praying for uh uh, praying for movement to move to a new location that's also happening there is safety security oh uh, yeah <clears throat> yeah oh wow we have the number 444 maybe you're seeing a lot of 444 look you are the high priestess your intuition is very very strong trust your intuition when you feel like you need to slow down right now i feel like your intuition is telling you to slow down take a break uh you know do the things that makes you happy that's it because you are healing at this time um yes so uh yeah again the safety I, I, that's what it is like uh, if where where all you didn't feel safe you're going to feel safe there um in your life there might be an area in your life where you didn't feel safe where you didn't feel grounded after this transition that is happening right now you will feel safe in that area of your life so you're healing that thing yeah so let's see more and again, uh, guardian angel, yes, again, look at the three pairs looking, you know, protecting. You're being protected at this time. So slow down. Whatever you desire will happen. So just slow down, guys. Don't, no worries here. Uh, you're pure. You're a very innocent, pure person. You're very kind-hearted. And yes, your desires will manifest. So now, just slow down. So let's see. Oh, wow, the turning point. Yes. Things are shifting for you guys. Things are changing for you guys. Again, one transition, like you're ending a chapter and you're entering this new one. So right now you're in this passage, right? In between you are. And things are going to change. Again, relocation, moving homes, uh, you know, maybe moving to a new city, maybe a new job. Um, but the movement that is happening, this turning point that is happening, it's going to bring a lot of safety, security, happiness, tears of joy. Yes. Okay. So steady improvements. There is... Good, good things happening your way. Harmony. Yeah. So let's see the final message here. Okay. So we have the corn. We have the thunder and the hunter. Okay. One thing I have to say that... Um, you are someone who is really really a positive powerful manifester and again i told you you don't have to go hunt right now you know when again it feels like a hunter if they want to hunt they have to go and they have to be focused and they have to wait for the animal to come to hunt isn't it you don't have to do that what you need to do is to slow down like slow down just connect with your intuition and when the right time happens you will be uh, given the message with the thunder like the sound will come and you know exactly what you need to do and at that time when you do it the abundance that you want is coming that's that's the thing just slow down be in your energy look at her she is, has closed her eyes she's very connected with her own eye herself again the message will be very loud and clear yeah this is the time go this is the time you will get that go to that place you will get it right that like that only maybe an idea is coming maybe some sort of uh, people places you know people you will be meeting and you will feel like i need to go and meet that person go and you will get whatever you want so there is a lot of huge rewards abundance that is coming here maybe for some of your way will be given an opportunity will come so as i told you don't have to go and wait for that this message will come as a lightning you will know this something will awaken and you will be like yeah i need to do this thing today go and do it and once you do it you will reach re reap the rewards here so yes trust your intuition here guys take action based on it that's it so if if you if, if you're planning to move if there is a, this vision in your heart if you're praying for that that's going to happen if you want a new house 
you job whatever it is happening but right now you are in this middle phase of your life passage you are just going to move from one thing to another so be be a little uh, soft on yourself take your time slow down okay so that's the message here for my swan feather group hope it made sense hope it resonated if it did give me a thumbs up i'll see you soon bye bye